SpaceX is nothing if not audacious. The 2018 awe-inspiring launch made the Falcon Heavy the world's most powerful operational rocket. At the same time, it made SpaceX the pride and joy of the United States, inducing the feeling of envy in nations such as Russia, China, as well as the whole of Europe. After three years, this behemoth continues to prove itself as a technological masterpiece. This time, however, it's not a Tesla Roadster, but a military aircraft with the mission of utmost importance for the US military being sent up on top of the Falcon Heavy. Stay tuned as we dive into this and more on today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, a towering three-pronged vehicle that is one of the most powerful operational rockets in the world, is preparing to return to the skies for the third time this year. This time around, it will undertake a mission for the United States Air Force to launch a reusable X-37 space plane scheduled for December 7th from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The news of this milestone is quite surprising because the six previous missions of the space plane were carried out on either the Atlas V or Falcon 9 rockets, both of which are only rated for medium lift capabilities. This upcoming mission, the seventh mission performed by the X-37B space plane, will be the first time it flies on a heavy lift launch vehicle. In fact, the payload for the next Falcon Heavy launch is shrouded in secrecy, so much so that before the military's announcement, it was simply referred to as the USS F-52 mission serving military objectives. The Space Force stated in a report on November 8th that the X-37B's seventh mission will conduct a wide range of tests, including operating the reusable space plane in new orbital regimes, experimenting with space domain awareness technologies, and investigating the radiation effects on materials provided by NASA. This is just a general overview of some familiar tests often seen in previous missions. In all honesty, the Pentagon wants people to be aware of the existence of the X-37 space plane, but military officials remain silent about the details of its missions. Being wrapped up in layers of red tape, the X-37B space plane can autonomously deploy small satellites. It also has the ability to conduct experiments and pursue other classified objectives. Flying without any astronauts astronauts on board, the vehicle is powered by solar energy arrays with the ability to autonomously guide itself to the landing strip at the end of each mission. In a discussion held on Wednesday, the military spoke about how they would expand the envelope operating in new orbital regimes, which seems to suggest that the next X-37B mission will fly in a higher orbit than previously recorded. Which makes sense, with the space plane launching on top of a Falcon Heavy rocket rocket, which also has significantly more lift capability than the Falcon 9 or Atlas V used to launch the previous X-37B missions. The space plane weighs about 11,000 pounds, not including the additional weight of its service module. This contract marks the end of a year of many records for SpaceX, and it also resolves a $130 million contract signed in June of 2018 for the USS F-52 launch, which was delayed by two years due to payload capability and operational range issues. Indeed, the Falcon Heavy is a perfect choice for large and heavy military payloads. It's crucial, given the current trend in the development of space military activities, as major powers, particularly China, rapidly deployed new space capabilities. Choosing to entrust military missions to a reliable, cost-effective rocket with a large payload capacity for orbit is exceptionally important. The Falcon Heavy is a uniquely designed rocket comprising three coordinated boosters working together to lift an impressive 64 tons into orbit. Its engines generate as much power as 18 Boeing 747 aircraft, showcasing its incredible strength. Two side boosters are designed to land back on the ground after launch and will be refurbished for reuse. This significantly reduces launch costs, as the rocket doesn't have to be discarded after a single use. Moreover, the rocket's design allows for more benefits in mission timing and orbital trajectory 
batteries, enhancing mission efficiency and accuracy. In some cases, the two side boosters may not return due to specific requirements from the customer. This flexibility is a standout feature of the Falcon Heavy that no other rocket can match. Around the beginning of the year, the U.S. Air Force awarded SpaceX a $160 million contract to launch a top-secret military satellite. This was the first time a military launch contract had been awarded to a private space exploration company, and it is thought to be a sign that the military is beginning to embrace the capabilities of reusable rockets. In early November, SpaceX once again secured 10 contracts worth $1.23 billion in the National Security Space Launch Program. Seven out of the ten missions will be launched on Falcon 9, and three missions will be carried out using the Falcon Heavy rocket. SpaceX won 22 contracts, accounting for 46% of the awards, while ULA won 26 contracts, representing 54% of the launch contracts. However, the ULA's Vulcan has not yet been launched, and the potential for conversion to SpaceX is quite high. That only makes the benefits that Falcon Heavy brings to the military even more prominent. First, First off, we have to talk about the economic advantages. The Falcon Heavy is a reusable rocket, and utilizing reusable rockets for military applications can significantly reduce the cost of launching payloads into space, as I've said before. By reusing rockets, the cost of launching payloads could be reduced by up to 90%. This could result in significant cost savings for the military and free up funding for other critical defense operations. Secondly, Falcon Heavy rockets could reduce the amount of waste associated with launching payloads into space. Currently, payloads require multiple launch vehicles and produce a large amount of debris that must be disposed of. However, reusing the same rocket multiple times could greatly reduce this waste and make launching payloads into space more sustainable. Another standout advantage that makes SpaceX a key player in the military space race, unlike other launch systems, SpaceX's rocket have an impressive deployment speed, being able to launch within days or even hours depending on the mission. This rapid deployment capability is a major advantage for the military, enabling swift launches of satellites and other payloads into space. The rockets use an advanced guidance system to ensure they land safely, even if they have to be diverted from their original course. This is a major benefit for the military as it ensures that any payloads or satellites launched will be delivered safely and securely. And finally, Falcon rockets offer offer a higher thrust-to-weight ratio than other launch systems. The rockets can carry heavier payloads into space, thus giving the military greater flexibility in their operations. The benefits that the Falcon Heavy brings to the military are indeed substantial, but the reality is that Elon Musk didn't design the Falcon Heavy specifically with that in mind. One of the primary drivers behind the development of the Falcon Heavy was SpaceX's desire to make space travel more affordable and accessible to people around the world. The company has also also streamlined its production methods. Rather than producing a bunch of different engines with a bunch of different thrust ratings, SpaceX has just one, the Merlin. The more powerful a rocket has to be, the more Merlins are bundled into its first stage. If Musk can deliver heavy lift at a low price, he could energize the entire rocket industry, bringing the much advertised power of commercial competition to an industry that has been able to fatten up on a consistent diet of defense contracts without having Having to innovate. More importantly, heavy lift boosters are technology you can use, not just to get to Earth orbit, but to get out of it as well, pressing on to deep space destinations like the Moon and Mars. But many years have passed and Elon Musk, along with SpaceX, has new plans. Currently, all of us, rocket enthusiasts, are eagerly anticipating the grand debut of the world's largest spacecraft that SpaceX has been diligently developing. This is truly the key to sending humans to Mars and innovating space exploration. But this doesn't mean the importance of the Falcon Heavy will diminish. The demand for services of both the Falcon Heavy and the Falcon 9 will likely persist for a considerable stretch, despite the new vehicle's availability. As Phil Smith, a space industry analyst at the Virginia-based consulting firm Bryce Tech said, the Falcon 9 is an extremely popular and successful vehicle, and customers like that. So that'll be around for quite a while. And the Falcon Heavy? I have no reason to believe that it won't be either. The tooling for the system remains, so as long as the factory is able to produce them, SpaceX would provide that option from a marketing point of view. The Falcon Heavy has also proven popular for some key NASA science missions 
missions, including the Psyche spacecraft, Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, and the Europa Clipper. Perhaps the most remarkable aspect of NASA's decision to launch its expensive Europa mission on the Falcon Heavy rocket was its price. This, in effect, saved U.S. taxpayers $2 billion as the other launch vehicle under consideration by NASA, the Space Launch System, costs $2.2 billion per launch. That's why even if SpaceX does not intend to transport people on the Falcon Heavy nor pursue the human rating certification process to transport NASA astronauts, the vehicle is recognized as a marvel of engineering still. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section down below, because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time.